We are at Water Boat Launch on Lake Mendota, and we're gonna try to catch carp, catfish, pike, bass, and anything else. We got minnows, worms, and corn. We're gonna throw one corn on the lake side, and then we're gonna dump, or we're gonna throw stuff under a bobber in the marina side. And if we catch a big, uh, like, bluegill or something, we will throw that out on the lake side as well. So let's get fishing and see what we can get. What I'm using is a small, like one fourth of an ounce uh, weight, worm weight, and a bunch of corn on the bottom. I'm gonna throw it out there. Usually like at night, I would throw it closer, but um, because it's daytime, I'm gonna throw it out there where it's a little bit deeper beyond the rocks and hopefully a carp will pick it up. Of course, I've had bullheads, bluegills, and true catfish bite that too. So it might not always be a carp but uh the 20 pound carps are what i'm after there got one of the fat heads here under a bobber i think this one's almost dead though so i don't know how well this one's gonna work um it's actually pretty deep here off the edge i'm just gonna put this one down and see if anyone bites it i would want one that's a little bit more lively so we're gonna see how this works but i do think i need a more lively one to catch a good fish I think i'm gonna try the worm under bobber on this side for the same reason I don't want to try it, there's probably quite a bit of bass among the rock ledges here. The reason I don't want to try it is because there are a lot of rock ledges here and you have to go quite a bit out to actually get in any sensible water. And the waves will push it back very quickly. But the fact that there's so much structure here, I think behooves the fact that there actually might be a good amount of uh, fish just among the rocks. The bobber with the minnow on the lake side actually went down, and that is a fish. Don't think it's a small one either. Is that stuck? I think that's stuck. Oh, it's unstuck. No, uh, okay, it's still there. It's not a small fish. What is that? Is that a rock bass? Oh, that's a big rock bass. That is uh, quite a big rock bass, my friends. Rock bass. I know there's a lot of these here, so I'm actually not surprised that a rocky bass bit my uh, bait. It's not bad, it's like an eight inch rock bass. Not really what I'm looking for though. So it's gonna go back in the water. It's gonna go for a long ride back in the water. There you go, rock bass. There are at least some big fish, well not big, some fish on the lakeside. So we're gonna keep throwing some worms on the lakeside, well, some minnows on the lakeside because the uh, stuff on the marina side just isn't working. I bet they are right off the edge. And the current isn't, like the wind and current isn't moving as, moving it as fast as I thought. So, there's probably some good fishing here that I can actually do. Oh my god, my, uh, my thing is screaming drag like crazy. Look at that, look at that. And it's going to spool me if I don't uh, be careful. But this must be a big fish. I don't think this is a bass, my friends. A bass would not be this strong. I think this has to be a carp or a gato. And it's, if it's a carp, it's a big one. Oh, did it just let go? Nope, it's there. I thought it let go. Unless it's a mega bass. I don't know what the uh, thing is on mega basses these days, but my God. It's, I'm glad this thing has like over like 100 yards of string on it. Otherwise, this thing is like, would spool me easily. If, uh, if I didn't, this is a big fish. It's a big fish. It's either a carp or a cat. I don't know if I can even lift it with this rod. I hope I can. This is a decently sized hook. It's not a huge hook, but it's a decently sized one. I might have to go over there and follow it. This is gonna be tough. I think I will have to go over there and follow it and just land it over there in the shallows. Yeah, worm under a bobber. I wonder why like it didn't hit the worm on the bottom. I think this is definitely a carp or a cat. It's not uh There it goes again. This is going to be a big fight. I hope it doesn't break my rod. It's definitely tied in pretty well. This is not the uh, rod to be, this is the wrong rod to actually do this. It's only 20 pound braid. And this is the, the crap 20 pound braid, unfortunately. There's obviously a lot of these fish around in the shallows. I think I'm gonna move my other rod shallower. Wow, this is, 
this is not not easy to land this is a this is one heck of a fish i think this is a carp could be a cat but i think it's actually a carp just by judging how strong it is and how much string it took out from me and how it's fighting this is going to be like a 10 20 minute fight easily this is definitely one of the bigger carp oh it's a carp it is a carp there's a lot of these around i think the one that took my other bobber is also a carp but this is a big one i think it's a big one at least i don't know why it didn't take bottom i i mean these are all taking floating baits which is really weird but this is definitely a carpio and a big one too is this the lake monona is this the madison chain carp that i've been searching for it's a fork tail but by the gist of it yeah no it's a catfish never mind thought it was a carpio but it is a goth hole fish maybe the cats will actually start biting now in the shallows too that's a big one it's probably oh, i don't have my net no need a dude to fish with me it's a gato fish but it's a big one it's a big one actually it's probably only like 12 13 pounds it's definitely not one of the 20 pounders but remember this is a pretty small rod it's not exactly this one's not exactly like killer i just need to tire this one out unfortunately it's a gato fish that my friends is a fish it's a nice one too come on fish it looks like they're floating by the end oh my god this is an epic catfish fight it is as big as some of my flathead fights honestly i don't think this one's as big as the 22 i caught earlier this year but that was in cold water when they didn't have much of a fight this this sucker is this sucker has a lot of fight in them but i'm reeling them in i'm reeling them in one at a time one at a time right on the side of the mouth it's gotten slime ridden catfish oh yeah it's definitely like a 15 or something uh, no 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 don't don't cut the string please um what do i do with this guy gotta reel him in among the rocks i think he's pretty tired though he's been through a pretty big fight there's a big catfish right there for you it's smiling gato fish it's a big one too it's not the biggest one i've caught this year but a big channel catfish i thought it was a carpet first but it is a gato fish got one 16 and a half pounds channel catfish not the biggest one i've caught on this lake but a very very sizable one channel catfish a little bigger than average fish for mendota for cats anyways but not uh not the most massive one i've caught i'm gonna just let it go over here because there's not it's not as rough over here and i'm gonna plop it back in there you go catfish and off it goes into the deep end that sky looks extremely ominous. The wind has died down. And uh, that one catfish is the one I pulled in. I actually hooked two catfish. The other one like tore my string on a rock, but I did get that 16.5. So pretty good with that. Only two fish today, the rock bass and the big catfish. Didn't get any bass with the uh, minnows. The worms seem to be working better for me with the bass for some odd reason or other. I'm not really sure why. Maybe I'll get one in the next couple of minutes, but if I don't, like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button and uh, join me on my next fishing adventure. Probably be out in the river then, maybe even Demon's Lake or Devil's Lake.